we know a lot more about the causes of irritable bowel syndrome today than maybe even we know about inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Things have changed dramatically. We now know for certain that food poisoning can trigger and lead to a cascade of events that result in irritable bowel syndrome. Knowing that was key in, in order for us to understand how to develop diagnostic tests, to develop new therapies. So a lot has been learned lately. IBS used to be thought of as a problem with the brain. In other words, stress, anxiety, depression, those things. And, and so patients would end up on antidepressants, antipsychotics, and various medications to try to help their illness. And all they were doing was making the diarrhea, for example, better because of the side effect of the medication, not because the medication was treating a particular illness. But food poisoning causes IBS. We've now identified the toxin that does that. What we've been able to develop here at Cedars is an actual blood test that can diagnose IBS, the IBS SMART test. And if it's positive, you have a greater than 90% likelihood of having irritable bowel syndrome. So in my practice, I, I start with that now because it's so game-changing. One of the drugs that we helped develop was rifaximin, which is used to treat the buildup of bacteria because of all this food poisoning. And that works for some people for a long period of time, one treatment, and you can have a year or two of benefit. But it generally comes back even in those cases. So, so the fact that it comes back and you got to treat again is not a cure. But when you're well after that, you're 90% better. So for the, for the time that you're feeling well, it feels like a cure, but we're still a ways from, from a true cure one and done.